Hello everyone! Today I want to talk to you guys about something that I have been collecting things for like a like a makeup raven and that is a buy or buy around those weightless liquid um, liquid foundation th I'm about to drop them off my lap I have a lot of them. So today's buy or buy is a little bit different because it's more of like a what worked and what didn't. It's less of a first impression and more of like a well-rounded review of like a bunch of different ones. Ones I really liked, ones I did not like at all, and uh, everything in between. I am going to very briefly talk about what the product is supposed to do and what it is about etc. And then I'm going to give it a rating system of a particular emoji, so X number of emojis out of five. Today's emoji is going to be a wave because I feel like, because these are all supposed to be like watery based consistencies, feel like nothing on the skin, just works, makes sense. More waves means better fluidity and awesomeness on the face. I don't know what this is. So I'm not going to go in any particular order with these products, but I think I'll probably just start with the one that is on my face right now so you can see it in action. And that is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. So the whole premise behind this is, is you only need one drop to create a very full coverage but natural finish to your skin. And it's supposed to last for about 16 hours, I think is what they say on the website. Yes. So first of all, I don't think you can get full coverage with one drop. I guess it depends on how nice your skin is to begin with, but do you really need full coverage if you already have perfect skin? No. No, you do not. I use about two drops or so with this particular foundation, and I thought this would be a good fit because my skin is a little bit more on the oilier side. Um, I do say that out of all of the ones that I've tried, um, this one you can certainly feel it more at the end of the day if that makes any sense. So I think maybe this wouldn't be a good pick for anyone who has really oily skin or someone who lives in a very hot climate. It is more of like a demi matte luminous-esque kind of finish. It spreads out very nicely as well. I'm always concerned with these particular products that if you put like one drop out and then you try and put it on your face it's gonna dry too quickly. I come from like the normal liquid foundations where you use like a little tiny drop and it like creates a street mark on your face and you're like, wow, good coverage. But it certainly doesn't in this particular case, so you can use one or two drops or kind of build it for more coverage really nicely and it doesn't look cakey or gross or kind of glom up or anything like that, so that is good. So, I mean, really the only thing is that it just, I can feel the foundation on my face by the end of the day, so I don't know about the whole 16 hour wear thing. So I am going to give this a solid three and a half waves out of five, like a, like a, if you saw like a wave in a, in a lake, that's kind of what this foundation is. It's not the big ocean wave, but you know, it's still really good. It's a lovely one. It's a nice wave. I don't know, do you judge waves? Maybe, maybe if you're a surfer. The next one I wanna talk about is one of the first ones that I picked up in this sort of category of foundations, and that is the Sephora Tent Infusion uh, natural finish foundation. So this one is supposed to um, actually moisturize your skin slightly and create a very flawless canvas, blah, blah, blah. Very similar to the other ones. This is more medium to full coverage and it's supposed to be very buildable. I actually really like this one and for whatever reason, I don't get the same sort of end of the day oiliness as I do from the NARS one with this one. And I was using this one almost exclusively for um, a month, I think, which is a long time for me because I like to switch it up and try a whole bunch of different products. So that's a really long time to continue to go back to one particular product. And I just felt like it sat on the skin very well. <laughs> it's just funny picturing makeup like sitting on the skin like it is definitely buildable as well. You do get nice coverage with a couple of coats if you need to. Um, and um, yeah, just a really nice foundation. So I'm gonna give this particular one four waves out of five. So it's, you know, pretty smooth sailing, as they say. This next one I really haven't tested too much, but I'm already gonna tell you I don't like it. And that is the uh, Paracone MD No Foundation Foundation Serum. And you know why I don't like this? Because it is too dark for me. Well, Rachel, you might say, go out and buy a lighter color. I would, internets, except they don't have any. They have one color, one color. And then they say on their website, go and mix it with the No Bronzer Bronzer to find your custom shade. But what if you are too light for the base color? What do you do? Nothing, they give you no options. Maybe it's nice. I don't really know, but for all my pale ladies out there, don't bother with this product. And for that reason, I am giving it one wave 
out of five, which is basically just like a puddle on cement. Not happy about the fact that there is not a light enough option for this foundation. Boo. The next one is probably one of the most expensive ones I have here. This is from Dior and this is the Nude Air Serum. It's got some sort of technology that helps to um, create this undetectable film of makeup on the skin with soft focus agents and glazed pigments. Sounds like they're describing a meal. Like, and now I wanna eat like turkey or something. Instantly produces an even looking complexion with radiance and like, sheer finish, etc. So, lots of stuff going on here. So the first thing I will say about this product, it is very, very fragrant. Like I think most Dior products are, but like, like, <coughs> there's definitely like some perfume thing going on in here. So if you're really sensitive to fragrance, do not get this product because it is intense. It is definitely more on the sheer side in terms of coverage, which is really nice maybe for like a summertime thing. Um, and then you can kind of build in, you know, coverage where you need it with a concealer and stuff. So that's kind of nice. It's nice. It is a lovely coverage. It is a lovely product, but seriously guys, the, the fragrance is like, like really strong. I'm gonna give this three waves out of five because I really, th the fragrance is really slightly off-putting to me. It is very pungent. Next is my only drugstore addition to this. I think there are maybe one or two other ones I think in the drugstore, but nothing that I've tried. I've only used this one and this is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Liquid Touch Foundation. And I have to say this is actually one of my favorites. I really, really like this foundation. One of the um, first ones that I had ever purchased. It's so much cheaper than the other products out here. Um, I just really like it. I don't like this thing. This, oh, did I just get, where did I spill it? Oh, <laughs> it went down the side of the bottle. Whew, that was close. I wish it had sort of a, a dropper or something, or like a pump or something, cause that's just dumb in my opinion. I just don't understand why it's there. But I have gone through, I've gone through a full bottle of this. This is a really nice one. It is much more budget friendly if you are just kind of working your way into the world of liquid weightless foundations is probably a really good place to start. I would probably give this a four and a half stars because I've used this so much. The next one is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. And like the other ones, liquid foundation, barely there feel, blah, blah, blah. But it is um, supposed to dry in sort of a demi-matte luminous sort of a finish. I don't know how I feel about this one. First of all, I'm not 100% sure, but it may have caused a couple of breakouts on me. And I don't know if I noticed a significant wow factor from this one versus some of the other ones that I have tried. I really wanted to love this because I love all the like naked collection of products from Urban Decay, but I just don't find like this actually stays on the skin really nicely by the end of the day. And it kind of has the same sort of effect like the NARS one, by the end of the day, you do feel kind of oily. Didn't work really well for me, unfortunately. So um, I'm gonna give this one two waves, kind of like a wave of a, like grease on your face. See how I made that connection there? Uh, I will say though, for those of you that maybe aren't suffering from oily skin, this would probably be a good option. And then lastly is actually a product I mentioned in my favorites video, so you already know it's gonna be good. And that is the YSL Fusion Ink Foundation. So it is supposed to be fine as ink foundation. I didn't know ink was fine, but sure continue on. It has SPF in it and it is supposed to wear weightlessly on the skin for 24 hours. Now, I wouldn't know if it holds up for 24 hours because I don't think I've worn this foundation for 24 hours. I can't speak to that claim. It definitely finishes more of, um, not powdery, but you know what I mean? Like you don't feel like you need to set it with um, powder. Sometimes I don't even set this with powder um, and I just set sort of like the concealer under my eyes and like that's it. Apparently <laughs> that's how I set it. Whoosh, whoosh. And yeah, it has really good coverage. You only need, like, um, I think I've talked about this. I don't wanna like keep reiterating what I've already said in my favorites video, but like, again, with these droppers, I don't, or not droppers, this like stick thing where you're supposed to like 
wait for it to drop off. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand this. You don't need a lot and it spreads out on the skin really nicely. And um, yeah, just a nice finish. It doesn't make me feel really oily by the end of the day and I just really enjoy it. So this gets a total of four and a half waves out of five. Yay! So those are all of the foundations that I tested out. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more of these kinds of buy or buy videos that are sort of um, category based maybe or color based or I don't know, drugstore or I don't know, brand based or something like that. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any recommendations or suggestions for the types of videos or products you guys want me to uh, review for you guys. Let me know. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah. Today I am here with an updated skincare routine nighttime edition. I have finally found a routine that I'm super happy with. My skin is excited about. I am excited about. The pimple on my chin is excited about.